Bronies. Adult male fans of the show My Little Pony Friendship is Magic represent a thriving subculture. They have conventions around the world, movies produced by Q, and naturally, tons of sweet tunes. Like Trot Step, which is dubstep, but about My Little Pony. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is the creation of former Powerpuff Girls director Lauren Faust. The fourth generation of Pony television tie-ins, it made its debut in fall 2010 on the Hasbro-owned Hub Network. Targeted at girls aged 2 to 11, it's fun and bright and positive and feminine. And dudes love it. We're about to introduce you to a group of grown men and women who are obsessed with one particular cartoon, My Little Pony. Bronies are an oft-derided culture of grown-ass men who enjoy a cartoon about magical ponies. But let's get this out of the way. Bronies, you do you. Andrew WK has written about brony culture and spoken at brony conventions. When it's time to party, we will party hard. A fan of Pinkie Pie, the most party of the ponies, he crucially notes that it's amazing that a cartoon show about small horses can teach us how to be real men. But he doesn't have any brony songs yet. This could get nostalgic, cause we look back and see the friendship is magic. Acoustic Brony are two bronies from the UK. Like many My Little Pony musical enthusiasts, they got their start by covering songs from the show, a sort of gateway drug into friendship is magic that the show's songwriter, Daniel Ingram, encourages, because he seems like a really nice guy. Making my mark in high society, I'm the bell of the ball, the star of the show, yeah. I'm the type of pony every pony, every pony should know. That comment came from a Mando Pony video. Mando Pony might be even more popular than Acoustic Brony. In fact, their collaboration song, Loyalty, a reference to the character Rainbow Dash, is sort of a certified Brony hit. It's like if Coheed and Cambria sang songs about cartoon ponies. Give me a smidge of confidence. Give me a speck of something that makes sense. Give me an idea of dependency. Give me a dash of my own. It's worth noting that Rainbow Dash is actually voiced by Ashley Ball, the vocalist for Hey Ocean, in case you were looking for a way to tie Vancouver indie rock into this whole thing. The way the water was. Trot Step. It's part of the remix culture that permeates My Little Pony and any internet fandom, but with a way funnier name. Discord is the evil former leader of Equestria, where Friendship is Magic takes place. He's voiced by John Delancey, Q from Star Trek, who's actually made a movie about brony culture. He's also the inspiration for this song by Eurobeat Brony. Wish there was a metal version of that song for you to listen to? Don't worry, Brony Fields got you covered with his brony metal medley. How fun and harmless is all of this? It's totally fun and totally harmless. A lot of the general cultural queasiness around Brony stems from everyone just thinking that they're pervs, which they're not, unless they're clobbers. Clobbers are the sexy ones, making sure that the internet's unwritten rule 34, if it exists, there's porn for it, is abided by. And if there's porn for it, there's music for it. Dirty little clobber. Still gross. Let's keep it lighthearted and have Q sing a bit about hipster bronies. Keep it all positive. For hipster bronies, watching Paso ponies has appeal. Though first it seems ironic, soon enough it's very real. If you're not a brony, could you ever listen to brony music? Keep in mind that Archie V, a Russian brony DJ, was just signed to Contour Records, which is the same German label as Tiesto. And bronies, did I miss your favorite brony artist? Let us know in the comments and subscribe for more This Exists every week. And that's how Equestria was made. <laughs>